so what article am i reading so recently i actually read this article named why is joe rogan so popular if you guys don't know joe rogan is one of my favorite youtube channels uh i actually almost i watch almost every single one of his episodes and it's pretty funny i share a lot of the same beliefs uh, and opinions as joe rogan as well it's funny in my circle of friends people call me asian joe rogan because i'm just so curious about everything and i have random knowledge about different subjects too and i know i'm not alone when it comes to being a i wouldn't say fan but a viewer of the joe rogan show it's pretty interesting if you ask if you talk to other joe rogan fans or people other people who listen to joe rogan it spans across everything i met a really small asian girl that listens to joe rogan uh computer nerds jujitsu addicts so it had me curious joe rogan spans across so many different types of people what makes joe rogan so popular have you guys ever asked yourself this if you guys have opinions on this or you have some thoughts about this leave them in the comments below but it was very interesting tim ferris actually sent this article out during his five bullet friday which is what this show is kind of based off of while i don't necessarily agree with all the author's thoughts there were some interesting points that were brought up about why people follow joe rogan and as a marketer myself i'm always hooked to see the human psychology behind why do people follow joe rogan so here are my three takeaways from the article some of it was inspired by the article but some of them i expanded my thoughts on it and some and some of my things that why i think joe rogan so popular to begin with here are my three major takeaways first thing joe rogan really speaks the thoughts and asks the questions that we're all thinking if you guys don't know joe, the jre or joe rogan experience is known for being unfiltered and his realness and honesty on the show um joe rogan's really good at getting others people uh, getting others to open up as well for example i mean how else would you get the whole elon musk like bit where he's like smoking weed and opening up about his inner life and all that just really really interesting but how does joe rogan do it well rather than a typical interview that you see on tv where it feels like sometimes an interrogation or inquisition he opens them up through just real conversation and how does he do that oh he's just naturally curious he doesn't judge people for their opinions it feels like they people can even if there's opposing thoughts we can just talk about it and i think that's something that's really missing in this day and age in 2020 um by expressing thoughts and asking the questions that we're all thinking it opens up new conversations that feel like a breath of air and i think that's the magic behind jre number two the second reason why i think joe rogan is so popular is because he actually follows the gary v content model to the t uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with the Gary V content model strategy, my friend Rich and Niche, he covers it. He covers it uh, and does a really great breakdown of Gary V's content model of distribution and how to shoot your content as well. So if you guys are unfamiliar with JRE, which I mean, otherwise you've been sleeping under a rock, but typically he'll release two to four hour episodes twice to four times a week with topics and guests of his choice. And then a lot of his guests tend to be comedians fighters thinkers and he just documents his conversations with them and talks about the things he's, he loves the things he's curious about and asks things about he wants to learn about so he essentially brings an expert in and you're learning with him which is great so if you follow gary v you know that gary v is the type of person who's really big on document 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 don't don't create document and when you listen to joe rogan you get to learn with joe rogan when he brings in uh experts like neil degrasse tyson we learn so much about the universe space physics it's just really really interesting as well um because of this since joe rogan has such a wide diverse amount of interests as well right it's very rare to find a person who doesn't relate to at least one of his guests or experts that he brings in and because of this his channel is often the gateway of into alternative thoughts to help people live better uh live happier right and become more productive productive in their lives as well 
and he also has another channel called jre clips where it breaks down kind of the long form as well and then he distributes that content out for people who are strapped on time and then automatically it will recommend the longer video as well so from a marketing uh perspective joe rogan actually follows that gary v model to the t which is really great now the third thing that i kind of took away from the joe rogan uh experience was that he is not based around a niche everything is aligned around joe rogan himself which is really interesting because when you talk to most marketers for any sort of personal brand and whatnot what is the first advice that they tell you oh find a niche right but i think the magic of the joe rogan show is that you know the whole show isn't surrounded by one topic or niche but it's really around uh aligned documenting joe and his experience with his guests right and that in a sense is a fresher breath of air and it gives a more humanistic side to video content which is honestly lacking on this youtube platform you notice you watch most of the youtube content out there and it's all the same crap over and over and over again all the production value looks the same everything's pretty much blurring blurring together but it's so rare that you have a unique long form type of content where it gets to show someone's personality as well right because he's just like a human documented experiences talking about things he loves um he shares his interests with his audiences and since he has a wide variety of interests he has a wide variety of audiences out there what i love most about joe rogan though is that he represents the long-term game of mastery and the human optimization experience as well it's never about the end goal but it's really the process and experience of hustling and to realize that trying is the whole point not the end goal and i think a lot of people can get behind that as well and seeing him being the representation for that is really admirable and that's why so many people watch joe himself all right what am i struggling with this week wow so this week i was actually debating whether i wanted to talk about it on this channel but actually got my first uh copy